Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. Today we are going to discuss one more uh, Turing machine problem that is to show that the Turing machine acts as an adder. Okay. Now what is adder? Adder is the machine which can add two numbers. So suppose we have two numbers, say we have 5 and we have 3. Okay. So 5 plus 3 the sum is 8. So Turing machine is actually capable of adding these two numbers. Okay. But it, uh, this Turing machine has one problem. That problem is it does not know how to count things. Okay. So the simplest method uh, to add these two numbers if it does not know counting is to convert this number into unary form first and then add it up. Okay. So how do we do this? We simply convert this that is 5 in unary will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 ones we have and then plus 3 ones, 1, 2, 3. So in total I have got 5 plus 3 that is 8 ones, that is 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in total I should get this as the sum in onto the input tape. Okay. So uh, the simple approach in this one is uh, what I'll do, I'll take a input tape and the input in the input tape I'll load this uh, these two numbers that is 1, 1, 1, 1 and then uh, one more one and then as a separator I'll write B here and then again the next number that is 1, 1, 1. So I have now 5 plus 3 and onto the input tape I need to display 8 that is I need to display 8 ones simultaneously. Okay. So uh, what I'll do, I'll start with this one and this one I'll leave it as 1 only. I'll skip this one, I'll skip this one, I'll skip all these ones and I'll move on to this B. Now I'll change this B to 1. Okay. And I'll move on to the right hand side and here I have one more blank. I'll come to this blank while skipping these ones and from here I'll take a left turn. Okay. Left turn and what I'll do, I'll simply change this one to B now. So in total, how many ones I have on the input tape? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is the output of 5 plus 3. And from here onwards, I'll again take a left turn, skipping all these ones, all these ones. And finally, my pointer should point onto the first one of the output because this is the place from where the output is getting displayed onto the input tape. Okay, so we'll start with this one, go to the right side, change this B to 1, go to the right side, then uh, from here take a left turn, change this 1 to B and come back to the initial position and you are done. Okay, so let's take this uh, on the input tape and design a Turing machine for this problem. So the input tape that we have is, we have certain blanks here and then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5 ones and then followed by a blank then again 1, 2, 3. So, 3 ones in, to in total I have and then followed by some B's here. Okay. And the read write head is currently on to the first one. So, how I will do this? Take some initial state that is Q0 and at Q0 what I am reading? I am reading this one. So this one has to be skipped because I do not have to do anything else. I just have to go to the first B that is the separator. Okay. So here I will take self loop and if you find one keep it as one and go to the right side. So all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will point this B now. Now this B has to be changed to one. So here I will take a move that is if you find a B in between change it to one and go to the right side. So this B will be changed to 1 and the pointer will again point next to 1 and I will reach on state say Q1. Now at Q1 I will again skip all these ones. So I will again take a self loop. If you find 1 keep it as 1 go to the right side. So all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will point this B now. Okay. So what I am finding? I am finding a B. So here I will take a left turn. That is if you find a B you should keep it as B only and go to the left side. So this B will be skipped and the pointer will point this one now. Okay. Now this one has to be changed to the blank. Okay. So here I will take again a move that is if you find a 1, change it to 1 and go to the left side. So this one will be changed to B and the pointer will point this one now. Okay. And I will reach on state Q3. Now again, I need to come back to the initial position that is the place from where the output is getting displayed. So 
I'll again have to skip several ones. That is, if you find one, keep it as one, go to the left side and you do this until you find a blank. So this pointer will skip all these ones and it will point this B now. Okay. So from here, I'll take a move. That is, if you find a B, keep it as B and go to the right side and go to state Q4 and this B will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this one and this is the place where I'm getting my output displayed onto the input tape. So we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in total, I have got 8 ones here. Okay. So this is your Turing machine that is acting as an adder that is adding two numbers in the unary form. Okay. Now if you add, if you give any number here, this, this input tape is actually an infinite cell input tape. So we have infinite number of cells in this one. So I can load any unary number here, be it uh, 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, 4 lakhs, whatever the number is, I can add this number here and the second number here and it can perform the add operation very easily. Okay, so this is your Turing machine that is acting as an adder and this is a transducer why it is converting one string from a string from one form to another and therefore there is no final state in this one. Thank you so much.